You don't have to make sense. Just make it. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 This would be switchback number 19. And we'll come back to where we Yes, it is. So I understand that there is um, some controversy about the number of switchbacks on the way in here to Lake Louise. Oh, you'd, you know, it was a pretty heated discussion on the way up here. Um, I think uh, the general consensus is there's about 31, which sounds good to me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to grouse about it too much. Uh, yeah, it, it really depends on the person. I think it speaks a lot about what kind of person you are, what your definition of a switchback is. I am I'm more in the uh, philosophical school. It's just kind of, uh, you know, it's undefinable. There's other people who are it's more of a, you know, a mathematical... Like this, like this elderly gentleman behind you. Yes, <laughs> like this distinguished gentleman. <laughs> okay, so behind. we have two schools of thought, I guess, on the switchback thing. One is the more philosophical thing. I understand you hold an opposing view. Well, not exactly opposing, but I think it should be held to a more rigorous standard. I see, and would you care to outline that standard? Well, a switchback has to include altitude change. It has to include a certain angular change from the path you're going. And it has to include the radius of the turn in order to keep it from just being a straight curve. I see. So what would you say to the people, and I understand there are a number of people who say that there are only 29 switchbacks coming up here, not 30. Well, there were a couple that by my definition would not quite qualify because the angle was not quite enough. Now I propose an angle of between 95 and 175 degrees. Looking down an arc on the back trail and ahead on an arc, holding your arms out like that, you can judge the, the distance, the angle. So that would be a definition, but it has to include altitude change. You have to be either going up or going down it's to easier. include that. I see. If you use your hand, yeah. then if you just use your weight, Nice little den. It's one of those skydiving things where you just, just right off the barometric. Yeah, no, yeah. You, you just have to calibrate it before you take off. And, yeah. and it can change even in a minute. Off that white sand on a hot oh, I bet it's like being in a snow field, I would imagine. Yeah, so just... except it's a lot of water. And also, I'm also the guy who ends up doing a lot of back climbing. Boy, there must be snow right up under the, the ridge. Yeah, that's, that's worth it, isn't it? What the hell are we looking at? 
Yeah. Now I wish we had a map. Something to do with them. Did Microsoft do anything well? I think Windows 7 they did very well. Yeah, that is the best. I gotta agree with you on that one. I have. No, one. yeah, absolutely. That is a gorgeous medal. Man, I